hello, hello, and welcome back. Um, I'm here in my office, what I'm now calling Seedling Central and the Houseplant Hospital. <laughs> I love both of those names, so I'm keeping them both. Um, and I'm actually in awe today because literally a week ago, we were frozen solid, frozen solid. And now it is 79, eight, almost 80 degrees outside. It's very, very bizarre, very, very bizarre. I did lose a lot out in the garden and I'm gonna go show you that. Um, and I have updates on my seeds that I brought into the house. So, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't bring them in the house. I started them in here to begin with, which this is my first year doing that. If you've seen my previous gar videos on my garden, you know that I have never had great luck starting seeds indoors. So I never did it. I just waited until after the last frost and I just would sow my seeds directly in the ground, which worked for the most part, but it put me, set me back a little bit. It made everything late to later than it needed to be. So I didn't get as many tomatoes as I could have gotten because of course here in Houston, when it gets super duper hot, nothing fruits, nothing um, can really survive that heat other than hot peppers, which we love, but we want food, food, food. So enough of my chattering. Let me just turn you around and show you what I had to do um, when with the seedlings when we knew that cold weather, the winter storm was coming. Um, it's very makeshift setup. So let me just show you what I did. So when I started all of my seedlings, when I started the seeds, I had them all along this windowsill here, all the way across. And the reason I had them here is because a lot, a lot of light comes into this room. And usually you can see um, sunlight all the way across um, this windowsill. Same on the other side, but I'm not going to show you that one because there's nothing over there anymore. And I just pulled these back over here um two days ago so what happened to the rest of the babies Ooh, let's go right over there <laughs> and i did try to hide some of them as much as i could because i just don't like to see a lot of stuff scattered so basically what we got here is my lamp that's always over here. I just changed out the bulb for a um, a bulb that has bright white light. So I was looking for something that had um, a higher number of lumens. So the higher the lumens. And then the light color is a cool color, daylight, versus the soft white that we use, say, like in our living rooms and in our bedrooms. So... The, I want to say the Kelvin on this light, instead of it being like 2750 or 3000, it is more like 5000 to mimic the daylight. So that's that. Now, this is, I call this a make makeshift setup because basically I'm trying to use it like a grow light because I also mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm not ready to invest in grow lights yet. So Basically, I just pulled everything over here. Here are my tomatoes. And I used these little shelves, which I built actually for organization in the kitchen originally, to get them as close as possible to the light. So these that were already coming up pretty well and doing well, I put them further from the light. And the ones that had not even started to germinate, like these marigolds, they're still really wet. I had those closer up on this taller shelf. So that's basically what I had going on. Um, and they did pretty good. The, there was just no, no warmth coming from the window because it was so cold outside. Like literally, we got down to nine degrees, you guys. And that's unheard of in the city of Houston. And the wind chill was even colder than that. So that's why I had to do this and try to save everything. And things did pretty well. Um, as you can see, I only lost, if you can see over here, I don't know if you can see that, 
but I lost an acorn squash and the eggplant is kind of struggling a little bit, but I'm just going to start over with this acorn squash. In fact, there you go. Just take that out. But everything else did pretty okay. Now let's talk about my single seed challenge. This baby right here. It's a rainbow tomato and it's doing fine. Um, yeah, nothing to do there, but just let it go. These other ones up here, I'm going to have to separate. Uh, and I'll probably do that probably next week because right now, this week, I have a goal. And that goal is to get outside and get things cleaned up. I'm going to head out there um, shortly after this. And actually, I'll take you with me and show you some of the things that need to be done. I did a tiny bit yesterday. It's basically clearing out everything that froze um, and was gone. And then... I am doing no-till gardening, so I'm not going to turn my garden or anything. I'm just going to add organic matter on top of the soil that's already there. So I'm trying to not pull too many things up completely by the root. But luckily right now, a lot of, a lot of what's out there are root vegetables, root vegetables and greens. So they're shallow rooted or either they're very deeply rooted because they're root vegetables. Um, so anyway, I got to get out there and do that. And uh, I did remember to bring in my little Meyer lemon tree. So I just put that back outside yesterday because yesterday it was 75 degrees. So <laughs> this is so strange and bizarre, but um, that's out there. And then I have some things that I want to actually plant. So I want to get out there with my son, um, who's 11. He I got him some strawberry plants. He's going to help me to find a home for those. I already have like a cinder block that I'm going to use for them. That'll be his project. Um, and then I'm thinking of expanding the garden to the other side of the backyard. I'll show you that in just a second. And I'm also thinking about the beds that are in the front of the house and how I can better use those beds for things other than just shrubs. So anyway, let's head out into the garden and see what's going on. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous it is out here. And of course, there's Lola. <laughs> she couldn't come out here without her. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's amazing. Amazing. So, over here, these are all my herb pots. And, of course, my little um, avocado, whoop, avocado seeds. So, these, I don't know if they're going to make it, but I need to pull those back over into the garden where they were to begin with. Um, that's the little cinder block where we're going to plant the baby strawberries. I call him the baby. He's 11. He's not a baby. He, he would not be happy to hear me say that. Um, the ferns. The ferns did not make it in the house in time. So I basically just shaved the top of it. It'll come back. Um, done that. That's the second time I've done that. And it'll be fine. <sighs> Aloe vera plant. She already is starting to, you know, get some more growth on her. But, yeah, she's gone. She's, she's i got to come out here and clean her up. And then there is the garden. So, let's see. Already cleaned up the Swiss chard that was right here. I'll have to come out and prune, cut my Tabasco's back. Um... Uh, those were mustard greens and I was trying to let them go to seed but now they are quite dead and oh, look sprouts tiny little brussels sprouts oh my gosh anyway that brassica made it through and a little bit of kale made it through see oh that is kale so I'm just gonna leave that alone and see what it does Let's see, I've already cleaned out most of this bed. That's my raised bed. And then, that's it. The garlic over there, I had to cut some pieces back. Now, here's a great question. I gotta research this. So normally, I've read that you know when garlic is done, when the necks start to do that, but this is doing it because it was frozen. But now, I guess I could just move some soil around and see how it looks down there, but I don't know if I'm supposed to pull this now or what's supposed to happen. But all of this is garlic. 
several of them did this a lot of them um, are still green as you can see but I started them at different times all throughout the winter but at different times so anyway gotta do that and there's my baby the new baby the lemon tree so this is what I want to get out here and do just clean things up a little bit and just start getting ready for spring and then once I do that we can go to the dirt yard and pick up you know some nice good compost um, even though we have some over there it's not completely ready yet so we can't really use that quite yet so today I'm gonna get out here and start on those things and when I said earlier that I want to expand the garden like the garden is only on this side of the house I mentioned that in a previous video as well it's only on this side and I really want to make use of that area way over there it's not way over there the yard is not that big but that's what I wanted to do so Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, let me know if you have any ideas about that garlic over there and what I should do. I think I'm just going to like dig around one of them and see what it looks like. But I don't think they're ready yet. I don't think I'm supposed to pull them until later in the spring. But anyway, I'm going to get out here, get things um, moving a little bit, get my body moving a little bit. I feel like I hadn't been outside in forever. And gardening is my form of exercise, my form of self-care. That and yoga is all I really do. So it just feels great to be out here in the warmth and be able to actually do something. So I hope you guys are doing really, really well. And anybody that had, everybody had that went through this winter storm i hope and pray that you're having beautiful days like this now as well and i'll see you the next time i give another update on the garden oh and i'm going to be putting more of my cooking videos over here on youtube as well i normally do them a lot on instagram but the people love it so i'm going to bring it over here anyway till next time you guys like this video if you like this video i would really really appreciate it subscribe i would really appreciate that as well so that you get the updates immediately um and till next time bye